Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Umar. And today we'll draw this uh, 2D drawing in AutoCAD. And uh, this will be practice exercise 5 in AutoCAD. And uh, I will provide its file in the description so you can practice from there. So here's our drawing and we have already created this part. So let's uh, put off the line weight command. And here you can see that I have created these layers. And the current uh, line weight of this layer is 0.3 so i can put off this okay uh, let's make this drawing let's say from here and i will use this snapshot for creating this drawing so first i will draw these two circles the diameter is 38 and this diameter is 19 so let's go to the circle command and i will make a, a circle center with diameter let's make one circle having diameter 38 millimeters and another circle having diameter 19. I will snap this center point and I will make one circle having diameter 19. You can see that my snapping options are turned on. Let's go to my drawing and uh, now I will draw this one. Uh, but for creating this circle, I need uh, to specify uh, this center. So the center is 86 in the horizontal side and 32 in the vertical side so let's make two lines uh, 86 horizontal and 32 vertical so let's go to your autocad and uh, let's go to your line command i will snap center point and i will make one line uh, having dimensions 86 okay so let's make 86 and you can see that i am making a straight line because uh, this option orthog uh, orthogonal option is turned on now I will make another line and this dimension would be 32 units as you can see from here. Okay, this vertical one is 32 uh, so that I can make this circle. So let's snap the center point and uh, I will make one line having dimensions 32 units. Now I can make this circle. So its diameter is 13 and another one is 14 and this is not diameter, this is radius. Okay, so 13 diameter and 14 radius. So let's go to the circle, center with diameter, I will make uh, a circle having dimensions 13 units and another circle this time center with radius and this dimension would be R14, okay. Uh, now I can delete these two lines. Uh, next is uh, I will create this, uh, this slot and uh, in SOLIDWORKS you can create this slot uh, directly but in AutoCAD you have to create the slot through circles, okay. First, I have to specify the coordinates of the slot and you can see that it is 140 millimeters away from this circle and 70 millimeters away uh, from here. So let's uh, make it. Let's go to here AutoCAD and uh, first I will make a line having dimensions 140 units. Okay. Similarly, uh, sorry, uh, similarly, uh, I will make another dimension and uh, this dimension would be 70 units so that I can specify this point. So let's go to the AutoCAD and uh, I go to this line command and I can snap this line from here and I can snap this line from here. Both options are same. So let's make one line having dimension 70 units and now I can make my slot from here. Okay. So you can see that it is R19. It is also R19. So I have to make a circle having dimensions uh, R19. Let's go to here AutoCAD and let's go to here circles, center with radius and I will make one circle having dimensions 90. Similarly, I have to make another one and uh, but for this, first I have to create this pitch. This pitch is 32 units. So let's go to here AutoCAD. Let's go to here line command. I will snap the center point and I will make a line having dimension 32 units. Select enter. And let's say I will make another line here so that I can snap this point. Now I will make another uh, uh, another circle, this time this one having dimensions R90. So let's go to AutoCAD and circle center with the radius, snap this one, and I will make uh, dimensions 19 units. Uh, I will trim this portion later. Uh, now I will make slot here. And I will join this point with this one and this point with this one. Let's go to AutoCAD. I'll go to this line command. I will snap this one quadrant and I will join this to this quadrant. Similarly, line command again, this quadrant with this one. 
okay and uh, now i will trim this portion uh, i don't need this line and uh, also i don't need this line now i can trim this portion so let's go to the trim command and uh, i will select this one this one press enter key i will delete this one this one and uh, uh, let's delete these lines uh, select this one this one this one and this one select enter key and now i can delete these unnecessary lines now you can see that i have created a slot here uh, next we will create this uh, uh, inner slot and we can make this inner slot using circles uh, but we have another way of creating the slot using a command called offset command okay so this distance is 19 and this is uh, r19 okay which means that it is uh, 38 so this distance uh, this one would be 9.5 here 9.5 here 9.5 here and 9.5 here okay so let's create it using the offset command and this offset distance would be 9.5 so let's go to AutoCAD and this time I will go to here offset command and offset through and uh, this distance would be 9.5 units and this distance would also be 9.5 and this would also be 9.5 and this one 9.5 okay so we can check this uh, let's go to the drawing and you can see that this dimension is 19 units so we can check it using the uh, uh, distance command let's go to autocad utilities major and distance so let's check it let's uh, snap this coordinate this point and now you can see that this dimension is 19 you can see here uh, it is 19 so uh, we have created these two circles and a slot and now we will join these so let's go to the drawing and uh, now you can see that we have a circle here having dimensions uh, 152 and uh, this circle is tangent to this one and tangent to this one okay so we can create it let's go to autocad circles and now i will use this circle 10 10 radius so it is tangent to this one it is tangent to this one and this dimension would be 152 units now you can see that we have created a circle here now we can trim the unnecessary portions but i will trim it later let's go to the autocad and uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, uh, two lines uh, vertical to uh, two vertical lines so let's create this uh, these let's go to a line command i will snap this quadrant and i will uh, make one line let's say here uh, i will trim the unnecessary portion later i will make another line here so let's go to the trim command and i will select this one i will select this one this one and let's say this one press enter key i will trim the uh, this one this one and uh, let's say this one okay uh, let's make this trim again select this one this one this one press enter key and I will trim this one okay uh, let's make these fillets and uh, this fillet radius is R8 2 means that uh, we have one fillet here and we have one fillet here so let's go to our AutoCAD and uh, we have to delete this portion as well now I can use fillet command okay so let's go to here fillet command fillet and radius would be 8 8 units and i will select this line and this arc similarly press enter key to repeat this command this one and this one and now you can see that we have created two radii uh, now i will create uh, this one and this is a very tricky part because first uh, you have to make this one this arc and uh, we have basically two uh, uh, two radii here uh, one radius is 106 and one radius is 25 okay so let's create it and uh, first i will create this one so that i can create this r106 so first i will create one line uh, 32 units down from this uh, circle let's go to the autocad i will make first one line here and now i will use offset command i will select through 
20, uh, 32 units okay now i can delete this one uh, now i will use offset command to offset this bigger circle uh, 25 units let's go to a circle and let's say i will use this one offset through uh, this one and this would be uh, 25 okay now i can create a circle here uh, basically i have to create a circle here uh, and this circle would be tangent to this one okay so this is the only condition that i can use uh, uh, this circle offset 25 units and i will make another circle having dimensions r25 uh, so that this circle would be tangent to this one so it is uh, a little bit tricky let's go to a circle center with radius i will snap this point so that's uh, this would be origin of the circle and i will make one circle having dimensions 25 units so this circle and this circle would be tangent let's make 25 and now you can see that this circle this newly created circle and this circle is tangent okay let's delete this line and uh, let's delete this one uh, now i can uh, use uh, this radius r106 so that i can join this uh, uh, this radius with this radius so let's go to the circle command and i will use the same 10 uh, 10, 10 radius and uh, this would be tangent to this one and this one and this uh, dimension would be uh, i think it's 106 yes i will make 106 and press enter now you can see that we have created a circle uh, let's delete the unnecessary portion let's go to the trim command i will select this one this one and uh, let's say this one this one and this one press enter key and first i will delete this one and this one this one this one uh, now i will delete this one also and i can delete this manually so now you can see that we have created this drawing and we can verify it uh, first i will use uh, uh, this command line width so let's go to a line width command sorry this one now you can see that uh, this line thickness is 0.3 you can see that i have created a layer here and this line weight is 0.3 uh, this is uh, 140 units so we can check this uh, first i'll go to a annotate and uh, i will go to a center mark i will select this one and uh, this one let's first change the layer center lines and now i will go to annotate and uh, center mark i will select this one this one and let's say this one and this one okay uh, let's say we can dimension it so let's go to your home ribbon and uh, i will go to that dimension and let's say first i will change the layer to dimension lines let's say the dimension from here to here so you can see that this dimension is 140 units and it is same as this one let's check this one this is 70 let's go to our autocad and uh, let's go to a dimension and i will snap this point and i will snap this point so you can see that this vertical is 70 units okay let's check uh, let's say uh, let's say this one it is r19 and uh, one thing to remember is uh, the full circle is diameter and uh, when it is not a full uh, full circle so autocad will take it as radius so you can see that uh, it is not a full circle this one so autocad is uh, taking it as radius not a diameter so let's check it out uh, let's say some other dimensions let's say i'll go to the dimension and i will change it to radius so let's say this one is 19 and uh, let's say this one this one is 8 and uh, let's say this dimension is 106 units press enter this dimension is let's say 152 units and uh, so on so you can create these type of uh, triangles in AutoCAD very easily. Now you can join these lines. Uh, let's say I will select this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, 
and I'll go to a join command in the command line and I can join these lines. Now you can see that uh, this one is separate entity and this one is also a separate entity. Okay, so uh, I think that's enough for this tutorial and you can see that uh, we have created a similar drawing to this one. So that's it for uh, today's tutorial. Uh, I hope you like it and if you have any questions, uh, any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list, uh, you can ask in comment section. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting videos. Thank you.